Hello YouTube. Welcome back from my stoop. It is humid. Very humid. After two days of rain. Yeah, my water tanks are full. Uh, there they are. So, I've got water for the for half of the of the winter for my garden. Cool. So, today's video, short one, uh, you can classify it maybe as a rant, <laughs> um, I'm just uh, curious, McLeland, apparently McLeland is slowing down. Or already closed. Now, maybe I'm not a good businessman. Well, <laughs> it proves, doesn't it? <laughs> no, no. But my understanding is that you're in business, or a business exists because you do want to provide a service to clients and make money, profit. I mean, that, that's what it. That's what it is. Whether you're in business only for the profit or for delivering a service and making a profit while doing it, <laughs> whichever way, but in my opinion, that's two of the main reasons why people go into business deliver a service to people uh, and, uh, and make profit. Now, McLeeland done both. They provided a service to people who are smoking tobacco. Um, yeah, you can say, ugh, it's very, very humid, sorry. You can say um, that uh, there is enough other, so the market is not, um, uh, hasn't got a problem, but that's not the point, is it? Um, there's people who love McClelland, uh, so they are providing an exceptional service to a regional portion of the market. Um, and they made money, I'm sure of that. So my question is, why would a company decide, a, a successful company like McClellan decide to go to, to close down? Um, one reason could be, uh, one reason could be that uh, they tied off the red tape around tobacco. Yeah, that might be so. Another reason might be that they made not enough money. I doubt it. Another reason might be that uh, they getting old and they don't want to, you know, they start thinking about going on pension or scaling down. That's re that's reasonable. My, uh, I know a lot of people who doesn't know what to do with their businesses when they get older and they want to to, uh, to scale down. But there's a solution. Sell it, uh, or your kids. If you, if they don't want, sell the business. I'm sure people would like to, to to buy it and keep on doing it. Now I must admit, there's probably reason for people to close down a company. Um, changing of a course of life, changing of an of a mission, or uh, yeah, uh, there's valid reasons. I, I would, I would, uh, I would give that. I don't want to be judgmental and put people in a box and say no that you know you can't. 
but um, I would personally, if I would be in, in such a position, I would surely, even knowing that I'm providing a service and that it's good and things like that, I would definitely try and see whether I can get a buyer um, so that it can continue. Yeah, that's uh, that's my video for today. Just thinking about that. Um, uh, I've got a, a few other favorites also. So McClellan was not my only favorite, but there was new tobacco in the McClellan branch, which I've discovered and would love to to try again, like uh, across the pond and uh, uh, Bombay. Bombay Night, which I recently uh, reviewed, gone. So, what do you guys think about the McClellan story? So on that note, thank you for watching, please subscribe and uh, I'll see you soon. Please leave your comments and uh, thank you all for the nice words and the nice comments and the uh, additional information that you often provide on your comments, on, especially on the previous one also. Thank you, I appreciate it. and. Uh, it sure expands your body of knowledge, doesn't it? So yes, thank you. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.